the last time she didn't start a game that she played in. And obviously it's, they say, Catholic. The Feast of Collier every day. In First one of the season, last game versus Phoenix, they pulled within two in the third quarter. Pressure the basketball, and then they limit your opportunities to get second chances if you miss. How they spread the floor, New York did. Well, and a lot of times New York settles for the three-point shot. With no Sylvia fouls, will they go after more shot so far this season? Little hesitation again. Collier picks her up. Bowie be cut. They want to be aggressive in the backcourt. Carlton coming off a career game from Minnesota. But, you know, talking to Coach Hopkins, he said, listen, this is about business. New York is going to challenge. Minnesota to grow. Nurse deep three can't get it. Dowie B offensive rebound. Last two games. The three point line was. Now coming into this game though, the last two contests, Clarendon just one of eight from three. Collier a little step back, still looking for that right combination. He said we're still in flux. Rachel Panam, who's checked into the lineup, picks off the pass. Carlton pull up from open gym availability to get up extra shots. Bridget yeah. Carlton's on the bus. She's the one that's heading over to the gym. NBA's all-time leading rebounder. Now, Kylie Shook is shifting the, the lineup. There's a roster of seven rookies. These rookies have a lot of confidence, and they feel like they've got the youth that gives them <laughs> the, the talking about being fatigued. No. Dangerfield went down hard. Jasmine Jones in the lineup for New York. Gonna be, be. Oh, that was gonna be special. Shook's gotta finish that. Carlton. Without Sylvia Fowles, Bridget Carlton really taking advantage and recognizing when she's got a scene to the, the gym rat, but watched a lot of tape in her collegiate career. Now she'll take the Uh, Shook at the same hit. time, one of the guards on the other team's got to take one exactly. of those Exactly. You know, when you talk to the coaching staff, just bettered her season average here in the opening quarter. Final 45 seconds. Upcoming. Nice move in. Now Carlton guarding Jones. Jones should have the quickness on that. The only other person that has more than one block on this team is Collier with four. But tonight, no rejection. Sylvia Fowles is. So if on the perimeter you get beat on a drive, Sylvia Fowles is the eraser. Well, you don't have that eraser today. Oh, nice little touch pass. Signed on July 30th and joined the team. Shook was in a triple team. Not a good pass. The three. Nurse out front. Hanna meets her. Shot block at seven. Clarendon. Here is Brown. Oh, there's the pick and roll that we talked about it being. Clarendon gets the ball back. Shot clock at five. Spin move left hand. Minnesota off the ball screen. Collier rolls to the basket. When help rotates over again, McCall keeps moving, makes herself available, and declared it again. One on the simple stupid. Dantas fall away. New York, a bunch of people there. Carlton had it and lost it, pulls it away. That's a three by Brown. See how far New York has spread this court. Nurse with three on the clock. Just the Minnesota Lynx together. My kind of beach. Nobody else there. From outside. Shook sets the pick, rolls to the right block. Carlton playing deep. Going into halftime so far, Walter Hutchins has got to be. By Minnesota, 16th pick overall. Coach Cheryl Reed was glad she fell down to number 16. That being with Atlanta was going to be temporary. I said, right. What can you bring? She said, I have a mid range jump shot. I can bring energy and I will defend. Cuts that lead down to a half a dozen. Carlton, another career high already with nine. I can hear the cheers of Chatham, Ontario, Canada for Bridge Carlton. Shook from the out. 
traffic may upset L.A., but it was Minnesota. Dangerfield going offensively. They're a better second-half team, which Cheryl Reed talked about. Carlton off balance shot. Off into the third opportunity. Let's see if they tighten the screws on defense, one of the best defensive teams in the league. We watch Minnesota just staying on the glass. Stantis keeps it alive, and the piece of Collier didn't, Collier didn't give up on the play. And then just... Dangerfield next to Stokes. That's not a good matchup. Bridget Carlton. Alicia Clarendon has been everything they had hoped for. Now they, they gave her the shot, didn't take it. I was thinking the same thing. She had to take it. <laughs> And they're now 4 of 12 from beyond the arc. Carlton to the hole was hoping to get the foul from Nurse. Didn't get it. But what does she get? Second chance opportunity. There you go. Now oh, you're off. Out the bank being open. And we have a foul. Hey, you better smile tonight. Look, happy birthday. That's just a little gift right there. You got to call that. Nurse will watch the three. A little strong. He and Nurse now one of five from beyond the arc. Romanian, but I'm afraid I'd blow it. My grandmother would roll over in the grave. Player to have 30 points, hit five threes, have five assists in the early part of her of her career in the offensive end. Nurse, no. Oh, the Bible drop. That you can build from. But now, as the game goes on in the third quarter, can you be as disciplined in the third as you were the first? Well, New York has made only one field goal here in quarter number three. Now we beat, tries the best numbers last year in the league. Carlton feeling confident. Nice dish in. About a four and a half second difference shot of the game clock. And a pull up. Shots from the perimeter. The drop on top danger field. Bantam launches. That's a three point oh, yeah. threat. Rachel Bantam for her career, 60% of her shots with the beyond. Get a whole lot of consistent minutes there. But Cheryl Reeve talking about she helps this team in a variety of ways. She's been, she came in ready this season. Stoke is three off the mark. Everybody who has played for me. everything that's right. And she really sees and recognizes this was bigger than mm -hmm. basketball and stay true to six closing in on five and a half to play. Got to go back door. The cuts of the rookies, one of the things Jasmine Jones pointed out to made in the half court, the screen, the action in the half court. That's the adjustment the rookies have to make. You have to be happy with the effort and especially the rebounding. She has been flying in for the boards. Hand off to Brown, coming back from that concussion symptoms, and she has had a whale of a night. 15 points, five rebounds, three assists, and seven steals. Carlton just lost the handle. Wasn't sure if she wanted to shoot it or pass it. Clarendon's got Nurse on one side. Be underway at about 9 o'clock Eastern time. And L.A. is going to be without Taya Cooper. And it inconclusive. Is clicking right now. You need right. all hands on deck. Carlton, career high. Step through. Bridget Carlton has had a terrific game. She has attacked the basket. Not just being in, but being a contributor while she's been on the floor. And can she do it again? The ball game for Carlton. Carlton on the drive. For this team and show them what they're capable of. Now it's a matter of consistency of doing that for four solid quarters. Well, since 2011, Minnesota will now be 118 and four when their opponent shoots under 40 percent.